There's a whole other world going on after dark. When most of us are sound asleep, these three men are busy making millions. Claire Brady met the nation's nightclub barons who are dancing all the way to the bank. It's about attracting the, the who's who. Yeah, that gets the adrenaline pumping. You've got to be a step ahead of the times all the time. This trio knows exactly how to cash in on what's in right now. The Pied Pipers of the nightclub scene, making million dollar profits from partying. It's about keeping a good quality crowd, you know, it's about uh, keeping the undesirable people out of the venue. The sports stars, the, the TV people, the, the models, the actors, you know, so we do attract a lot of that crowd here. Nick Russian, Melbourne czar of After Dark. At 29, his nightclub Eve is possibly the hottest scene in the city, which is just as well since it cost him $3 million to carve his dream out of a car park. I'm here all day during the day running the actual business, so that's say 10 o'clock to, you know, 6, 7 o'clock Monday to Friday, but um, then I'm back in here overnight when we're actually trading and making money is a Thursday, Friday and Saturday night, so from 9pm till, till 5am. And his nocturnal life gets balanced from a disciplined health regime. But day and night, his mind is tuned to making a buck. It uh, ranks in the top three of the 975 and, uh, pubs, bars and nightclubs in the state. It's territorial, this nightclub world. In Sydney, there's another king altogether. I'd probably say I'm the most competitive individual on the planet. Mm, I'm getting edgy thinking about it. <laughs> Justin Hemes, 36. I'm the luckiest guy around. So it seems, son of rag trade millionaires John and Maryvale, he grew up here, the hermitage in Vaucluse. The family home now worth $50 million. With a parachute made of family money, he took a $125 million leap of faith. From ground up building the Ivy, the largest leisure complex in downtown Sydney and all up Sydney's home to about 1,300 party venues, more than any other state. By design, it's the most ambitious jewel in this city's nightlife crown. And Justin Hemes is dancing all the way to the bank, even though for a while he was dancing on thin ice. Oh, I definitely went through a rat bag stage, no doubt about that. But, you know, I had a, a privileged upbringing, so I had fast cars and fast boats. Newspapers took great delight when he flipped his speedboat on Friday the 13th. When it comes to Sydney's <laughs> it crowd, Justin Hemes is, well, it. What Justin is doing with the Ivy, you know, he sees that the kids, you know, want to spend the money. Billy Cross has been spinning on the dance floors as the original king of the clubs until recently his patch was Queensland. The Ruby Tram, it used to be a strip club. This is another one of my clubs. Uh, it used to be called Santa Fe Golf. Down this dingy, dirty alleyway was my first club, and it was the hottest club back then, and it was called Berlin Lounge Bar. He started in the game by literally stripping off and founding Manpower, the show that also launched pretty boy gardener Jamie Jury. If there's a holy grail in Australia's nightclub industry, Billy Cross is its author. I started in 1995 and we got our first club uh, then and then by the year 2000 we had nine clubs and um, it, it was, you know, we were, we were one of the biggest nightclub operations in the Gold Coast and it was a multi-million dollar empire. By name and nature, Cross is a man who likes to tick and move, teaming up with motorbike legend Mick Doohan. The two taking on Las Vegas. I think it's going to work well here in Vegas, but anybody from Europe, from Australia, from wherever, I think will feel comfortable in this environment. I had an opportunity to get into nightclubs there, and Vegas is now the entertainment capital of the world. And there's a, a nightclub and a, and, a, and a lounge bar in every casino. It can be lucrative, these long hours, especially for the three kings who know all the tricks to keep them queuing at the door. The men with midnight's Midas touch. Still ahead, home renovations adding thousands to the value of your house. Is always.